we need to have an energy security strategy in this country, and that means that we're going to produce energy sustainably, uh, affordably, and reliably. Because energy is our economy. That's it's what we do as people. That's how we drive ourselves. But the energy we're producing right now is killing us and our planet. So when you start to get into some of the fundamental questions about how is it that we can have a decent energy environment that creates some jobs and allows an economy to exist, but also doesn't create that pollution that's been so associated, you unhook that false concept that it's either a job or, in, or clean air and clean water. Um, I've always been infuriated by that simple bad thinking and logic that gets used by the conservatives and others. One thing that's confused me is we've got so much wind resource in your writing, you know, off Haida Gwaii, but we've never seen anything come to fruition there to date. And I'm wondering what your thoughts are on that. Location, 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 right? Like wind is one of those things you want to get right. I think we need the full suite. I, I think you... you uh, first thing you need is level the playing field. Take out all of those terrible subsidies that go into coal and oil. Level the playing field so that wind, solar, geothermal, hydro, all of those can compete properly again. Allow public ownership back in. I don't know why the Campbell government was so obsessed with making this all into the private hands. We've done a fairly good job of producing public power in Canada's history. It's been one of our great advantages. We, I was just in southwestern Ontario, southwestern Ontario, and drove for on the train mile after mile after mile of windmills that were going up, and they looked nice. They were pretty, but you got to put them in the right place. You got to put them in places where you don't, you know, blender a bunch of birds up, and you don't necessarily meet massive resistance from. Uh, the public. It's a, you run into NIMBY on wind more than you do on any other source of power. The NDP played a significant role in the creation of Petrocan, which has since been privatized. Do you think we need a national oil company? It's an interesting question. I think the circumstances would have to beg that. Um, my first priority would be to put a price on carbon. We're right? talking about leveling the playing field and taking the true cost of this energy source. Uh, that's first things first. Do we need... Uh, I mean, Petrocan was put in place at the inception of a new industry. If it was, if it made sense that uh, we needed a, a national program in terms of creating a green energy company, that, m that might have some merit. But I'm, for New Democrat, I'm, I'm pretty uh, enamored by the, the capacity of the free market to create those intuitive and ingenious solutions that sometimes government struggles with. So if it were to happen, it would have to be extraordinarily arm's length for me to be uh, comfortable. Because there's things government does well and things not so much.